G'day, and thanks for joining us. This week we invite you to reflect on Mary, the Mother of God, but more particularly Mary, the model disciple. I'm sure that Mary would have been among the top 10 soccer mums of Nazareth back in the day, but she was also much more than that. She didn't just say yes to having the child Jesus, she said yes to the will of God at his conception, to the command to run to Bethlehem for his birth, yes to the flight to Egypt, yes to raising Jesus and bringing him up to the temple, even at the risk of losing him, which she did, yes to supporting him through life in Nazareth, the life that isn't even recorded in the scriptures before his public ministry, and then yes to being with him to his very death on the cross. Each of the examples of Mary gives us of something that we can admire, even if we can't imitate the event themselves. Living the Christian life, as we've already discussed in previous reflections, often involves choice. Christian life is the option to say yes to life, yes to the will of God, yes to joining that mystery which transforms us more and more into what we were made to be. From her basic yes in Nazareth when the angel visited, we can see this same thing and admire it in the life of Mary. Mary chose yes, and God worked miracles in her life. And this is the example of discipleship. Through these miracles, the unbelievable became a reality instead of just invisible. We did read this in the Annunciation account in Luke. The Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the Most High will cover you with its shadow. And so the child will be holy and will be called the Son of God. This is remarkably similar and can be read in parallel with the Gospel that you heard today, in the words of Christ to his disciples. That's Christ's words to you and to me. I shall ask the Father, and he will give you another paraclete, to be with you forever, the Spirit of Truth, whom the world can never accept, since it neither sees nor knows him, but you know him. On that day you will know that I am in my Father, and you in me, and I in you. Just as Mary said yes to God with hope in the working of the Holy Spirit, so you and me, as fellow disciples of Mary, say yes to God in the hope of the Holy Spirit from the very conception of our faith through its birth and maturing, and if it's God's will, even to the witness of martyrdom. Mary said yes in her story. Now this is our story, and we have to just say yes. So over the coming week, we'll open up this topic more and reflect on some of the ways that we can live the yes of Mary as Christians, even if we don't have an angel popping in to visit us or the Son of God living with us.